You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing Crash Bandicoot, the first one on the PlayStation Classic. And uh, this game, here's a game that uh, everyone also kind of relates the PlayStation to. Crash, of course. Uh, de facto mascot character of Sony as opposed to Nintendo's Mario but this is back then of course that doesn't apply now Crash has appeared to other consoles already but everybody did wonder why this was not included on the stock 20 of the PlayStation Classic some say it may be because it just recently had the Remaster the Insane Trilogy also came out on the Nintendo Switch actually but anyway let's see let me just reorient myself for the controls here all right oops almost forgot just need to enable the show FPS and nothing more. Uh, okay, well, made a mistake there. Okay, let's try that again. And I'll be honest. I didn't really spend much time playing this game before. The Crash game that I really enjoyed on the PlayStation 1 is um, unfortunately not even one of the three games in the trilogy, but rather the Kart Racer spin-off, the one that plays like Mario Kart Crash Team Racing. And that's actually a very, very worthy um, clone uh, of Mario Kart. It's actually a fun game at its own right. So... Speaking with from minimal experience with the game, um, like some of the other games I've played, this one isn't exactly as smooth as I would think it should be. It, it's not lagging, it's not the screen lag, but rather it's just not the the scrolling is just not as smooth. So maybe with some tweaking on the configuration, you'll get a better experience. But again, this is from someone who didn't really spend too much time with the original version on the original console. So maybe it's really like this. Um, please do let me know. Please leave it on the comments. But the frame rate is stable. Doesn't drop down. So that's saying something, I think. Um, if you don't actually remember the, like how the game really played before, uh, I think you wouldn't even notice that maybe there is a problem. Ugh. Let's try it again. So you could think of this as a third person 3D uh, platformer. Ah, 
why do I keep doing that instead of the free roaming style that became prevalent in video games in general this still followed a linear path you know kind of like uh, 2d platforming games actually whoa whoops ah. you'll have to forgive my performance there all right this time I'm gonna make it it just takes some getting used to but everything should be easy Almost fell there. Okay. I'm having fun with the game. I'm sure you would have too, even if it's gonna be your first time. We don't get games uh, like this these days. I mean, of course, there's the remaster, but in general, in uh, video games in general, uh, we don't see any more games like this anymore. This type of game, at least as uh, these days it's really just sandbox style and uh, that's, that's not generally a bad thing but there are times when you might prefer something like this a little straightforward and it's generally fun Okay, 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 okay. So, I'll probably try out the second and third one pretty soon. And let's see how those perform. Let's see how well they play. But for this one, um... I uh, highly recommend it, actually. It's a great game to... Uh, it's a great game to have on your PlayStation Classic. Oh, come on. Am I missing something? Oh, jeez. Can't even make a platforming segment here but anyway not to take up more much more of your time that's it for this video thanks for watching 8-bit days a week please do like comment and subscribe and see you soon for more playstation 1 games played on the playstation ugh, playstation classic and thanks for watching